It's your job to give the customer the feeling that they should be with you. Don't carry rejection and negativity into your next call. What I commonly see, the death killer, death on a stick for a sales pro is going to be getting on a bad phone call and then the next person they talk to pays for it. Have you ever heard your manager say, get control of the customer, right? Whether it's on the phone or in person, taking control is important. Look, how do most people sound when they answer the phone? Let me explain this. Taking control will happen within the first I think three to four seconds of a phone call in the first 30 seconds for sure, but in the first three to four seconds. You say, Andy, how could I take control in the first three to four seconds? The way you answer the dang phone is how you take control. Look, most people's like, sales, this is Andy. Okay, look, I know who you are. You sound like a sales guy. That's who you are. You're, an you're answering the phone, you're doing your job. That's just is what it is. But what about me saying, hope you're having a wonderful day. This is Andy. How can I help you today? Uh, hey Andy, I was checking the availability of this vehicle. Yeah, sure, no problem, I'll check on it. How's your day going today? You having a blessed day? It's like, however you wanna answer, I am taking control and I've already started asking questions. Who's in control? me. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. If I called you, okay, and then you told me that you were gonna go check on a vehicle and you put me on hold, we don't know each other, you don't have a relationship with me, and what am I doing? I'm just sitting here like this on the phone. Look, let's just be quiet for a minute, listen to this. How long you want that to go on, okay? You think your customer's losing interest in you every single second? Absolutely. You never put somebody on hold. The gap is one of the most important things in the world. It's where you're gonna build a relationship with the customer. Follow me. Customer calls, let's take about the timeline of a deal, right? From the beginning to the end. The gap is in the middle. That's where the customer wants to speed up the process, get the information, get off the phone. We wanna slow down the customer, right? Set a real appointment and get them in. I want you to think about this for a minute. What happens? We answer the phone. Hope you're having a wonderful day. This is Andy. How can I help you? That's the intro, right? Guess what the customer says? Yeah, I was calling to check the availability of this vehicle, X, Y, and Z car. You say, yeah, no problem. I'd love to check on that for you. By the way, who do I have the pleasure of speaking with today? You notice how it's going, right? Deposit, withdraw, deposit, withdraw, and then guess what happens? I say, yeah, listen, Mr. Customer, I'm rebooting my computer. It's gonna take me about 30 seconds, or I've just reset my computer. It's gonna take me about 30 seconds so I can give you all the information on the car you need to know. While I'm doing that, where are you calling from today? Pam, I just created a gap. Ask more general questions, not specific questions. Okay, let me give an example. The guy that talked himself out of a deal, what does he sound like? Okay, you're looking for a truck today. Uh, two wheel drive or four wheel drive? Uh, four wheel drive. Okay, cool. Um, regular cab or crew cab or extended cab? Uh, crew cab. Okay, cool. Uh, lighter or darker color? Uh, darker color. Cool, leather or cloth? Uh, cloth. Okay, you have to have a crew cab, lighter color, four wheel drive, cloth truck, <laughs> just to sell that guy something. Hey, how about you ask something like this, a little bit more simple, a little more general, okay? That's specific, this is general. This will allow you to actually set more appointments. Sir, it looks like you're looking for a truck. We're a massive truck center. Look, let me ask you this. What are you gonna be doing with the vehicle? Guy says, well, I'm gonna be pulling my boat with it. Cool, you got a family? How many people do you got? Guy's like, I got five people. Awesome, so basically, you need a truck that's gonna hold five people, pull the boat, something that's gonna rock and roll, have lower miles, be under warranty, and keep a great payment, is that right? Awesome, it looks like I have a whole bunch of those in stock. What time can you make it? I'm gonna walk through all of them with you. Get ready to be blown away. Boom, you see how that was open, right? It was open, it was more generalized, it wasn't specific. Don't talk yourself out of a cell. It's your job to give the customer the feeling that they should be with you. Well, there's lots of ways you can do this, but number one, have a great attitude. Be kind, look, speak with certainty, which means whatever you say, be really certain about it. Be believable, okay? Laugh, have some humor. Do me a favor, write down the word corky. Be a little bit 
quirky on the phone. Have some fun with people. Look, don't make it serious, all right? If you make it too serious with me, it's really hard for me to feel like you're the right person I should be doing business with. Do you think people want to buy a car and not have a stressed out or a stressful experience? Yes or no? Yes, of course. Well, how could you create that? You could create that by being a little bit funny, by being a little bit quirky, plus being really good at what you do, and all of that ties into what? A gut feeling that the customer will feel that you're the right person that they should be doing business with. Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with a friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.